This is the process. If you want to be able to have a great ear and learn quickly and rapidly, this has to happen in your head out loud. It does not matter. So this is very interesting. The baseline, this is, I'm, I'm digging this already. I think I've heard, I, I might've heard this on bef before. It sounds familiar. But anyway, the baseline is very intriguing. So the way that I figured it out, I'm, I'm listening to it. So it happened that fast. So I'm hearing it. I'm singing it back to myself. So these are the steps that you need to follow. So write this stuff down. I've done this in a separate tutorial before, but this is the process of learning, hearing, and being able to spit back a song. If you don't get the notes, at least get the rhythm. Okay. So listen for the baseline, right? Listen to the rhythm of the baseline, right? then try to execute the notes of the bass line and the rhythm at the same time. So that's three steps already. So listen, right? pinpoint out the bass, uh, listen to the rhythm of the bass line, okay? be able to you know, kind of either clap it back or just be able to hum it back a little bit, even if you don't have the right notes. So that's second. Then you want to focus in on getting and executing the notes. So it'll make that much, it'll make that process that much easier if you start that way, because just trying to figure it out and listening, trying to play it and at the same time, you can't do that. It's just not going to work, especially if you're new to it. Take that first step and just listen. Just listen. Enjoy it. Listen. Think a lot the bass line. Okay, so we got that step two. Step three, execute the bass notes. That'll make it easier. And like I said, it happens so quick for me, it's hard to slow it down. It's hard to slow that process down. So I can listen to this bass line and probably play it now. Once again, then. There it is. I think that was it. Wait, let's see. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, I was able to spit back that bass line just hearing it and being that much that comfortable with my bass to where I know where all of these intervals are happening. I know groups of phrases now because what you want to do is I know I'm jumping all over the place, but what you want to do is when you learn intervals, that's the space between two notes, right? Eventually, you'll be able to know the space between three notes. Then eventually, you'll be able to know the spacing and the direction and the shape of four notes and five notes and six notes. Then you'll start memorizing phrases and not even just that, just knowing how to play them. So I know that do 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 do. That's whatever that is. That first note is do 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 do. That's first note and that last note is the exactly the same. It's just an octave apart. So the first note is lower, the last note is higher. And I have some chromatic notes inside of that. So this sounds familiar, I'm not familiar, but this sounds ridiculous. But this is what I do. This is what's going on in my head. So I know that interval is a flat seven. That's a fifth. Star Wars theme. That's a minor third. So I know that shape in my head already. Already. So it's like it's like coming to life in my head when I'm hearing it on the bass through my bass, right? Anyway, sounds ridiculous. I probably sound horrible, sound terrible, but this is the process. If you want to be able to have a great ear and learn quickly and rapidly, this has to happen in your head out loud. It does not matter regardless. So I can sit here and learn this entire song, probably just listening to it just one time through. Um, I might forget some parts, but I will still be able to, you know, regurgitate and, and spit back that information or whatever lines are being played. So this, I, I, I want you guys to get to this, get to this step. I know this is what a, a lot of people long for, but it still takes time. I've been playing for 20 something years. So I didn't, I wasn't doing this immediately. I did do it quick. I'm not going to lie. I, I was pretty quick when I was learning songs and being able to um, retain information like this, but you know, it was simple things. You know, but the more you do it, the more complicated lines and songs you'll be able to learn quicker. 